Welcome to our lecture online. So what does the graph look like of a logarithmic function? Well, remember that what we said in the previous video that a logarithmic function was the inverse of an exponential function, which means that graphically it's the mirror image of an exponential function about the x equals y line or the 45 degree line. So here is the 45 degree line on the y-x coordinate. So this is the, play, this is the line that represents x equals y or y equals x, the 45 degree line as we call it, and here we have what we call the exponential function, y equals b to the x. Now let's say that b, the, the base of that exponential function, is equal to 10, so we can say that this is y equals 10 to the x. Then the logarithmic function can be written as y equals the log to the base b of x, and in this case if the base is 10 we can write as y equals log base 10 of x. Now, notice that y, the logarithmic function, when x equals 1, can be written as the log to the base 10 of 1, which can be written as the log to the base 10 of 10 to the 0 power. Let me make that 0 a little bit bigger. There we go. Because anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So 1 and 10 to the 0 is the same. And remember that the log of the base 10 of a number always equals the number zeros or the exponent if you use 10 as the base. The base to the exponent, if the exponent is 0, it's equal to 0, or you have zeros, no zeros, then it's equal to 0. Or you can say that y when x equals 10 is equal to the log base 10 of 10. Notice there's one zero there, so you know the answer is 1, but you can also write 10 as 10 to the first power, and the 1 is the same as the exponent on the base, or over the base. Then you can say that y evaluated when x equals 100 is equal to the log base 10 of 100. Now notice there's two zeros, so you know the answer is 2. Or you could write 100 as 10 to the second power, and that's where the 2 comes from. Now, let's take a look at the graph. When x equals 1, y is equal to 0, right here. It goes to the point 1, 0. If x equals 10, y is 1. So we move to the right. When x is equal to 10, which is right here, then you have the point on the line which is 10, 1. So y is equal to 1, x is equal to 10. And then when x is 100, y is equal to 2. So you can see that it gets less and less and less steep because you have to go much farther to the right to gain one more unit in the y direction. So you have to go really far. When x is equal to 100, then y will be equal to 2. And that gives you kind of the feel for the shape of that curve, which is the exact mirror image of the exponential function y equals 10 to the x, the logarithmic function is y equals the log of x. And that's how you can graph it, by simply plugging in values for x, then take the log of that value, and then that's equal to the number of, or the number equal to the exponent of the number 10, the base 10. So 10 to the exponent equal to the exponent, so here it's 0, 1, 2, or the number zeros of the number we're taking the log of, if the base is equal to 10. In later videos, we'll show you what to do when the base is other than 10, but that comes later, as long as we try to get the, uh, the idea here. And by the way, log base 10 and the natural log, the two types of logs, are used the most in mathematics. So this is a very important concept right here, when we have the base equal to 10. So now we know how to graph it. We already know what the definition is, and we know the relationship now between the logarithmic function and the exponential function. So stay tuned and we'll learn a lot more about logarithmic functions. Squeezed everything onto that little piece of the board. Yes, I did kind of use just one little portion of the board. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure how much more I was going to write and then I realized that's all I'm going to write, so I didn't want to redo it. Lazy. I know it. <laughs> that's so weird.